Golf isn't known for being the most forgiving game. But there's nothing quite like shanking your ball into the drink or, or pond. That's where this guy comes in. Here at TPC Sawgrass, hundreds of golfers lose their balls to the infamous par 3 17th hole. But one golfer's misery is another man's gold. This is Gordon Davis. My name is Gordon Davis, and I'm a professional golf ball diver. And he makes a living diving for golf balls all over Florida. I've been diving for golf balls approximately 50 years. And there are a lot of balls to be found. On average, I, when I'm diving, I pick up three to four thousand. Three to four thousand? Three to four thousand. Whoa. So how do you find these golf balls? It's mostly, you know, just feel picking them up out of the mud. And some places the mud's so deep that you can't do nothing with it, you know. And it's that mud that makes it impossible to see, well, anything. Most courses, there's very few that have, has clear water. Most of them has poor visibility because of the algae and all that. So what happens next? After I pull the balls out, they go through, pick out some of them, and uh, they take them from there. They being someone who wants to repurpose these balls. These balls are authentic. These authentic balls are diced up, placed in all sorts of usable keepsakes like cufflinks, watches, and bottle openers. And Gordon, he knows what it takes to be a professional golf ball diver. Well, I tell people, uh, you gotta be a kind of a special cat to be a golf ball diver. Somebody with grit and that wants to be an independent person, it's like with any other business, someone has to do it. Everybody has a different job, and this is happened to be mine. Seeing as you're kind of a special cat, any advice for golfers trying to keep their balls dry? Yeah, take up another sport. <laughs> Hole in one. <laughs>